So those are the three areas that we need to heighten our self-awareness, our habits, our mindset, and the process in order to show up better individually to be better together. And no one lived out those three qualities better than my all-time favorite basketball player, Steve Nash. Steve Nash, as a Hall of Fame caliber point guard in the early 2000s, won back-to-back -back MVP titles. And in the first year that he won the MVP, he actually only led the league in two statistical categories. The first, as most basketball fans would be able to guess, was assists. He liked to share the sugar, he liked to pass the pill, he liked to get other people involved. Certainly the sign of a great leader and a great teammate. But do you know the other statistic that Steve Nash led the NBA in? It was actually physical touches. I'm literally talking about high fives, fist bumps, and pats on the backside. Now how could I possibly know that Steve Nash led the NBA in high fives, fist bumps, and pats on the backside? Well, it just so happens there was a research team from UC Berkeley who was conducting an official study because they wanted to measure if showing signs of physical enthusiasm actually led to more wins on the court. So they hired a team of researchers to watch every minute of every NBA game and make a mark every time a player gave a high five, a fist bump, or a pat on the backside. Well, the Phoenix Suns, who Steve Nash played for at the time, were so enamored with this study that they hired a full-time intern to count just for Steve Nash. Just by show of hands, how many of you have ever had a crappy entry-level job before? <laughs> Can you imagine if that was your first job? Yeah, you see this guy right here? Every time he touches one of these big, tall, sweaty guys, if you can make a tally mark. <laughs> In the first regulation NBA game that the intern counted for Steve Nash, he delivered 239 high fives, fist bumps, and pats on the backside in one game. He was a furnace of human connection. Now in the game of basketball where physicality is appropriate, it has been physiologically proven that you can transfer energy to another human being through physical touch. You can indeed raise someone's game with a well-placed high five, fist bump, or pat on the backside. Just to make sure I'm clear, and HR compliant. <laughs> I'm not telling you to pat policyholders on the backside after you meet with them. Here's what I am telling you to do. I want you guys to get creative and innovative and in figuring out ways that you can make the exact same type of emotional deposit with the two groups that should mean the most to you professionally. And that is those on your team and those that you serve. 